the grossest bugs in the world. Even the bravest person you know would jump out of their seat if they run across one of these bugs. Are you ready to know them and feel uneasy? So, watch this video if you can. House Centipede Did you know this alien-looking bug can be easily found in your house? It could be under your bed, right now! The house centipede comes from the Mediterranean, and it has spread all over the world, choosing wet areas such as basements or bathrooms to live in. This centipede is only about 0.9 to 1.3 inches long. So, relax, because I'm not talking about the prehistoric species you saw in King Kong. The house centipede feeds on spiders, bed bugs, termites, cockroaches, and ants, which actually helps us to get rid of other pests. But if your house got infested with these centipedes, would you let them just be around? Oh, no way, man. Tailless Whip Scorpion Despite its aggressive and lethal look, this is a non-venomous spider. Doesn't it remind you of someone? At hunting, the tailless whip scorpion uses its first pair of legs, whose size is over 12 inches, as sensory organs and to feel for nearby prey. Once the victim is found, this spider captures it with a fatal hug, full of spines, and soaks its fluids up. Ew! Probably you will never run into it because this nocturnal arachnid only lives in Africa. Don't you feel relieved? Because I do. Jerusalem Cricket Don't get fooled into the name. This sham cricket is not coming from Jerusalem. Actually, you can find it in the west side of the United States and some parts of Mexico, which means it could be in your garden right now. There's crickets out here. But don't worry, because its legs are so long and heavy that jumping is not a possibility for it. Ew. The Jerusalem crickets are not venomous, but I wouldn't touch them if I were you, because they spread such a stinky smell that you're gonna wish to take a shower immediately. The adult ones, known for biting really hard, get a size of up to two inches long. Would you smash one if you saw it? European Medicinal Leech after getting out from the lake, take a look at your body, because this disgusting species could be stuck to your skin. Sweet. Leech! Oh 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 Looking like a bloody nightmare character, these leeches can grow up to 8 inches in length and have 3 jaws with 100 sharp teeth. Yes, 100 teeth. Once they perforate your skin, the blood is sucked while injecting anticoagulants and anesthetics. Believe it or not, they can ingest about 10 times their body size. So much blood. It's true, but actually, they're very important to medicine. According to studies, the act of sucking prevents the obstruction of the blood in inserted areas, reduces vein pressure, and makes new blood connections. Common Earwig this bug means bad news, because it has not only a terrible smell and fearsome pincers at the end of its abdomen, which are used during mating season, feeding, and self-defense, but also it may turn into an annoying infestation very quickly. No! The common earwig feels comfortable with the darkness of the night, so be alert when you turn off the lights, because earwigs with a body length of up to 1.1 inches could be prowling around your house. And guess what? They can fly! No! Anything but that! Thorny Devil Stick Insect No, this is not a dead branch. This is a bulky and thorny insect. Due to its shiny dark brown color, it can tactically camouflage into nature. So keep your eyes peeled, because it can be closer than you think. But if you find one, be careful! The adult males have a very long spine on their back legs. I think I can handle it. All right, but you must know that these are very large bugs. Females reach a length of 6 inches, while males around 4.3 inches. Thank God this endemic species from Oceania is vegetarian, and is one of the favorite pets for bug lovers. Would you feel like having one? No. Toe Biter You know only one roach is enough to disturb anyone. Now imagine an enormous one. There's no way to look at this bug in any part without feeling disgusted. And to make things worse, the toe biter is all over the world. 
When it catches prey, like tadpoles or small fish, it sticks the stylet made by its mouth parts into them to inject a powerful solution that dissolves the insides of its victims. And that's not even the most revolting part, because after that, they soak them up little by little. Ew. These bugs could also bite us if they wanted to, and as they can fly, it would be impossible to escape from them. The sinister part is not over yet. Check this out. In many species, the developing eggs are attached to the male's back until the young emerges. Gross, right? Bootlace worm. This worm looks more like a parasite than a bug and is 180 feet long, which makes it one of the Earth's longest animals. Interesting. If you're still thinking this is only a worm, beware. Its toxic mucus has a neurotoxin relatively strong to protect itself from predators. This worm lives in sandy coastlines, muddy shores, and rocks near the sea in the north coast of Europe. Now you're aware of its habitat, you will know how to avoid it. Frightful hairy fly. Yes, I get it, this bug looks like a mixture of an ant and a spider, but you will amaze to know that it is actually a fly. Really? Sure, a fly. Its body, dysfunctional wings, and furry legs give it away. This bug has only been found in Kenya, lucky you. There's not much research about this hairy fly, but it supposedly feeds on bats bodily secretions, which is repugnant, but expected from a fly. Wheel bug. It is considered as one of the biggest land bugs in North America because in its adult stage, it can grow up to 1.5 inches in length. This horrible looking insect has a characteristic pronotal armor that resembles a wheel. Wow. The wheel bug is a predator of soft bodied insects, such as caterpillars or beetles, which are punctured by its beak shaped mouth structure to inject the dreadful saliva that dissolves tissues. Ew. This is a diurnal bug but at nights won't stop in illuminated areas. So you'd better turn off the lights of your garden. Asian Blue Tick. This savage bug is a vicious ectoparasite and the nightmare of every cattle. The Asian Blue Tick is in almost every stock sector in the world with temperate, subtropical, and tropical zones. But even if it is cold outside, this bug can live up to six months without food before finding a host to keep sucking its blood up for many days until it gets the look of a very big grape. It's definitely an infestation. Duh. But if you thought that its only food source was beef cattle, you're wrong. Your doggy could be the next victim as well. Not on my watch. Cereal Leaf Beetle Let me read your mind. You're wondering, what is wrong with this kind of beetle? I barely understand it. Nothing, really. But you'll definitely have a change of heart once you see them as a larva. Just take a look at this disturbing hump and dark yellow head. The most disgusting part is when its body swells because of its excrement to dissuade predators, turning its color into a shining black. However, this doesn't talk the J. Julis wasps out of leaving their eggs into these larvae. Once the egg is cracked, the cereal leaf beetle's larva dies. A horrible end for sure. Uh -huh. Creatonotus gangus. You will not believe this bug exists. You are a liar! Really? This is the hellish looking Creatonotus gangus moth. With the wingspan of 1.6 inches and extended wings, and a fat, shiny red or yellow abdomen. It's one of the moths I would never want to find. Just look at one of the males inflating its four back organs. This is how they secrete pheromones and attract females. Do you live in Asiatic or Australian Southwest? If so, maybe you'll see this moth around. Cyclocosmia ricketti. Before your imagination goes wild, no, this is not a result of a fight with another insect. What? Actually, the strange abdomen of this arachnid is used to block its enemy's access to deans. The 0.6 inch disc in the back of its abdomen has a system of ribs. Great. Now we know why it looks like this, but it's still disturbing. Saddleback Caterpillar From North America with love, it's the turn for this horrific caterpillar. The saddleback caterpillar has a couple of horns on each side and spines all over its body. But what really makes this caterpillar untouchable is the venom it secretes. So if you run across it, you'd better go straight. You got it. I know. And if you thought cat hair could be an allergy trigger, well, let me tell you this. 
The hair of this caterpillar causes a very painful swelling, and it has such strong toxins that you may have nausea. What? You did it! You reached the end of the video! Have you ever run across one of these bugs? Leave your terrifying experience in the comments. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Just click on the bell icon. Can you put up with more? We have some other incredible videos for you. Choose one.